Hello and welcome. My name is Mark, and in this video, we will go through federating the Cloud Portal's IFS or Infor Federation Services Federated Hub to the ADFS Identity Provider. This will include configuring authentication and authorization to the Infor Cloud Suite. Businesses may want to integrate with ADFS as an identity provider because this will enable single sign-on to be used and that will assist with account management using your corporate sign-on credentials. Here's a diagram showing the high-level architecture of what will take place, federating the Infor Cloud Identity Provider with the ADFS Identity Provider. Note, ADFS is not capable of using an option to automate user provisioning using SKIM or a system for cross-domain identity management. Let's get started. Open a browser and navigate to the Infor Cloud Portal. Log on to the portal with an admin Cloud Identity account. Once in the Cloud Portal, if the OS application is not displayed, select the OS application from the navigation menu. On the OS application page, click on the Security tab on the top of the page or you can also select the security card located on the main page. This will bring you to the user management screen. If you do not have the security tab or card displayed, you will need the IFS application admin and portal content administrator security roles assigned to your user account. In the users menu selector, expand security administration and select Federated Security. Select Federated Security again. Click the plus button to add a new item. If not already checked, select the box for SAML 2.0 enabled and validate the Authenticate with Infor STS or Infor Security Token Service is selected. Infor STS is an access management solution that provides security access to Infor web applications. The Infor STS option should be enabled by default. Export the Infor STS metadata, scroll down to the Service Provider Information section and locate the View button and click it. Select the Export SAML metadata link from the Service Provider Information window once downloaded, click Cancel. You will use this downloaded metadata file to build the ADFS Relying Party Trust. You will now create the Relying Party Trust in ADFS. Access the ADFS Management Council. Select Relying Party Trust on the left hand side and click the Add Relying Party Trust link from the Actions menu. Select the Claims Aware radio button and click Start. On the Select Data Source, select the Import Data about the relying party from a file option and click the Browse button. Navigate to the metadata file you downloaded from the Cloud Portal and click Next. Provide a display name and click Next. We recommend putting the tenant name somewhere in the name field, like in for Cloud Suite Dem. Under Choose Access Control Policy, select Permit Everyone, which is the default. Then click Next. On the Ready to Add Trust screen, click Next. Click Close on the Finish screen, leaving the Configure Claims Issuance Policy for this application checked. We will now create a claim rule. Right-click on the Relying Party Trust you just created and select Edit Claim Issuance Policy. On the Issuance Transform Rule tab, click Add Rule. For the Claim Rule template, Select Send LDAP Attributes as Claims and click Next. Provide a claim name, email address to name ID, 
and select Active Directory as the Attribute Store from the drop-down list. Under LDAP Attribute, select Email Addresses from the drop-down list. Under Outgoing Claim Type, select Name ID from the drop-down list. Click Finish. Once returned to the Issuance Transform Rules tab, click Apply, then OK. Note that the accounts using the ADFS authentication need to be added to the Cloud Portal's User Management Identity Store. Now you can complete the Cloud Portal Federation with ADFS. Download the ADFS metadata. Open a browser and input the ADFS metadata URL. This will download a file which will be used for the Cloud Portal Federation setup. Return to the Cloud Portal's Federation Security section and click the From File button. Browse and select the ADFS metadata.xml file you exported from ADFS and then click Import. You will notice the ADFS identity provider information will be updated in the Tenant Federation fields. Enter a display name for the ADFS Federation. An example would be ADFS. Note the name will be displayed on the Home Realm screen once the Federation is complete. Click the Save button. Now that the Federation is saved, click the back arrow besides Federated Security to return to the Security Administration section. Under Security Administration, select Authentication URL Options. Check the box for Allow Users to choose the Authentication Mode and click Save. This will enable the ADFS icon to be displayed on the Home Realm screen. It is time to test the authentication to the Cloud Portal. Open an incognito or in private browser and navigate to the Cloud Portal. On the Home Realm screen, you should now see an ADFS selection. Select the ADFS button. Under Sign In, supply the ADFS account information and click Next. Supply a password and click Sign In. After authentication, the account will be authorized for access and the Cloud Portal will be presented. This concludes this presentation of the Identity and Access Management Cloud Portal Federation to the ADFS Identity Provider. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to get notified when new videos are available.